All right, so I wanna first start off by um, telling you what you're looking at right now. So this is the supposed ISS that is flying directly towards me from the west. Um, as you can see, that that is definitely not the shape of the ISS, um, but we're gonna to get to that in a minute. So what you're looking at now is the ISS, which is flying directly above me. So um, what you can notice already is that you've just seen two different angles of the ISS in the footage. Um, this is directly overhead and the one before was coming directly towards me. So what, are, what you're looking at now is the ISS flying away from me. Now guys, this footage is um, dramatically slowed down uh, just so you can actually view it better because you know, um, taking footage of a very fast plane flying in the middle of the night is not the easiest thing to do. Um, but what I really wanna get to is why did I capture three different angles of the ISS if it's meant to be 250 miles high? There shouldn't be that much parallax. Now, what I'm going to suggest is um, basically this could possibly be a high altitude plane um, flying at roughly about 70 to 80,000 feet um, high and with some sort of holographic technology wrapped around it to give you the illusion of the ISS. Now, why, the reason why I'm thinking about this is because I can't understand how you could capture three different angles in five minutes of footage. Okay, when we look at all of the uh, NASA footage, their time lapses of um, them flying around the globe, you know, the ISS looks completely dead straight flying around the globe. Okay, so this is flying at 17 and a half thousand miles, which is a load of shit, but we're gonna go by what they say. Now, flying that fast and that high, no one should be able to capture three different angles within five minutes. So uh, what you're looking at now is the three different angles that I've taken of the Passover. Uh, these angles are essentially inconsistent with the footage that we've seen from the ISS, um, where the cupola is essentially facing Earth, the entire orbit around the Earth. Um, while staying rigid in space. Obviously, just like a gyroscope, it can't deviate from its course. What I'm suggesting here is that this is occulted technology to continue to fool the world that live on a spinning ball by believing that there is a space station orbiting the Earth, which is a complete fallacy.